Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've uh, made a video on this, or on whatever flits about, and I definitely shouldn't have taken the time off because they've added a whole bunch of stuff since I've been gone. So I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not seen every, well I have seen everything, I don't know what it does yet, and now I understand what your questions are about submarines and stuff. It does look like they've changed the water. So actually, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to test out a submarine real quick and see what happens. Uh, I apologize. It's, it really has been a while for me, okay? So if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, that's probably because I don't. I just want to see how everything works. And thank God, it looks like submarines still work. Okay, so I still have a channel. All right, well, of course, keep in mind the physics are going to be different, so I'm going to have to build new submarines accordingly. That is to be expected, of course. Oh, go up. Go up. Go up. Don't kill me. Oh, that's new. Wow, you can really pop this thing out of the water. Ooh, I'm going to... Uh, okay, okay. I'm having a whole bunch of ideas. Don't worry, I'm going to make videos on this stuff. It's going to take me a while to get used to all this, but that's not why we're here. What we're here for is because... Sorry about that mental lapse. I seem to have those a lot. But anyways, like I said, what we are here for is because in... Eh, I don't know what to call it, but basically, there's a pandemic going on. I was trying to figure out how to break the news, but... I'm not really even breaking the news. I guess what I'm trying to say is there's pandemic going on in the theme of the pandemic. Let's build something super toxic. And I promise this will be my last toxic build. I, I swear, I swear this will be the last one. But you guys need to have the exposure to this stuff. So we're going to go ahead. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you something that's really toxic. Wow, this is so weird. So they changed the jump and all that stuff. Eh. Anyways, anyways, I'm getting distracted. So I'm going to sell this off. Today we are going to be building a forklift, people. Now you might ask, why a fork? Or you might you might not know what that even means, but it's all right. I got you covered. Never you worry about that. So I'm just gonna set that right there. But anyways, when it comes to building forklifts, the name of the game is all the lightweight up in the front. And I think it'll just be easier whenever I finish to show you. Two, three, four. So I'm going to get this about five thick. And honestly, this there really isn't a method to building forklifts. Four, five, six. That's fine. Basically how this works is that we're going to attach in the middle here. So right now, as I'm building up, I'm building upside down. So what this is, is this is the actual fork. Of course, like I said, it's going to make more sense when I'm actually done. This is more of proof of concept. This isn't going to be anything great. But I just want to show you... I just want to open your eyes to this kind of stuff. Because as far as my concern, I'm the only one who's done this. I've never seen anyone else do this. But you have a right to know that it exists. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on how... To counter it, and oh my god, that was horrible placement. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I'm not going to make this too big for the sake of time. There we go. Okay. So what I'm working on right now is I'm just building a fork. Hopefully a fork that's even, because the idea is you're going to want to scoop the people. Scoop the people up. And my building skills are horrible. I need to play this game more. Alright. So anyways, like I said, we're just going to build a nice fork. That's even. Magnus, stop messing it up. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to build that. Now, what we're going to do is... So the water level is going to be right here. And this is going to be dragging underneath the water. What we're going to do is we're going to drive up to boats... And then using the same mechanics as submarines, rather than go underwater, we're going to go above water and scoop them out of the water. That's the idea we're going for here. Is it going to happen this round? No, probably not, because I didn't build it in time. But 
it's not a complete loss because I can go ahead and just start loading up the layers on this. So I'm going to layer this about five thick. And I'm going to try not to get shot at by this dude. But that's going to be almost impossible because he's going to shoot at me. So, oh, you don't float up? You just sit? Wow, this is... Well, he's not firing back, so I'm not going to fire at him. Oh, this is so weird. I'm sorry, guys, but... Man, these changes. Okay, for better or for worse, I think submarines might be easier to control the depth. Because a while back, I was working on a submarine where you could actually stall it underwater by holding S and you would not move. It was one of the craziest things, but it's going to be so much easier to do that now. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and vacate this area because there's a guy shooting at me. Let me just get this real quick. That's so crazy. Look at how it just pops. Okay, I see what you guys were talking about now for sure. Oh, I've got so many ideas with this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this so much. I mean, all my stuff is broken, but this is going to be a lot of fun to mess with now. But yeah, like I was saying, that old submarine should still work. Whoa. Oh, and the cannons fire so much better now. Oh, this is so much nicer. Okay, yeah, I can definitely make some interesting stuff out of this. Anyways, back to the forklift. So, we've got 30 seconds here. I'm just going to go ahead and hydroplane my way across. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, that's... I mean, that's... Oh, the range is better, too. Oh, that's crazy. Hats off to the game devs. I mean, these are very wild changes, but... uh Good changes nonetheless. I like it. I approve this wholeheartedly. Alright, anyways. Back to the forklift of doom. We're just going to layer this thing with five pieces of ice per thing. In the front, I'm not even going to bother with the back. Although I recommend in your build you do. But to save time, I'm not going to. Anyways, like I said. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be about six. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of all these. And now we'll throw the ice shield on. So I'm only going to go about this far back. And I might need to be further. Yep, there we go. That's about right. Basically, if you see the thing fall back, then you know that you've got enough weight here. So, so I'm going to be silent here. But basically, I'm just going to fill this in. Now, as far as wheelhouse placement, wheelhouse placement, you're definitely going to want to place in the front. Or, of course, since all the mechanics are different now, I don't actually know, but I would assume that you probably want to. But yeah, this is so cool. I'm going to have to look into this. I'm super excited about this. I'm very happy about all of this. I, I really had no idea what you guys were talking about, but after coming in here and seeing all this, I'm really looking forward to all this. And it flit Oh my... Okay. I'm sorry if I'm freaking out too much, but this is super cool. Anyways, to save time... So, ideally, here's what you want to do. Here's how you want to build it. You want to get the wheelhouse up in the air so no one can come around with a sword and stab you. But for the sake of building and time... I'm not going to actually do that. So whereas for a submarine you face the thing, the wedge this way, on this thing you're going to face it the opposite direction and then set the seat like this. So you can buck, basically. Let's see. 
Also, the floating mechanics might be different, but we'll see. Nope, it works. This is dragging a little bit on the bottom, which is interesting, because normally it floats. But for the sake of time, what I'm going to do to fix that for right now is I'm just going to stick a balloon out in front, and that will keep it from popping up. Or well, that's just going to pop it up a whole lot. I don't know what the physics are like anymore, I guess. Oh, nice shot. Oh, well, obviously nice shot. He's hacking. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't get rid of hackers in the new update, but we did get some new physics, which are interesting to say the least. So... I guess for right now I could just do it the cheat way and just stick a weight right here. And then just go forward. Because that's... No? Okay, well, that'll do for now. So it's weighted down. So whenever I flip it, see how it picks up like that? That's what we want. It's a little off-centered, but I just want to prove to you that this works. Hell, I don't even know if this works, to be honest with you. It's been so long. These guys are distracted, but I'll show you it. So as you can see, these things are slow as hell, and they really are slow as hell. Even whenever you actually build them correctly, they're slow as hell. But my recommendation, if you see one of these things coming at you, outrun it or flank it. That's your best bet. But yeah, see? There you go. <laughs> That's how you forklift in um, this game. Is it good? No, not really. It's just more of for fun. If you just want to mess with people and capsize boats, build it. That's 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 really what it's for, honestly. Just for having a good time. Anyways, I'm gonna resume um submarine building and it looks like I can also look into building some other things as well, like flying vehicles now, so I'm definitely gonna look into that. But that's all for uh this video. I hope that I've uh made everyone aware to this kind of uh, trolling and griefing. So basically, if you see this, all you need to do is just um, outrun it or flank it. And I will experiment around with other things. And yeah, I hope this helps.